Hey everyone, Saksham here back again with another video and in this video, we are going to be talking about API security. Yes, something related to security is coming up again on this channel after a long time. Now, I still remember the time when I used to do a lot of things with a very small plugin called as Cookie Editor. And then the game changed because Burp Suit came into the market. A lot of people told me that, hey, you should not go with the burp suit. You don't have complete control over the things. But that was totally a rubbish advice. I started proceeding things onto the burp suit. And yes, that took me and a lot of people to the next level. Exactly like that, we have seen this era changing and going towards the automation. And yes, Docker and these kind of technologies are taking us to the next level for sure. But this is why I came up with this thing because, you know, I was talking about API security at a lot of conferences and I was working on API security for some of my clients from quite a long time. And then I came up with this tool called as Pint. Now, I'll make you walk through it. I'll just give you a quick holistic picture that how this uh, tool works and how you can do that too. But I just wanted to give you a quick approach on how automating things can save a lot of your time and they are not giving any false positive results and they are proven to be an amazing tool out there. So in this video, we are going to be talking about API testing and API testing has been a very sensitive topic from quite a long time into the security aspect these days. A lot of people have been trying to master their API security thing. I cannot deny the fact that doing things manually uh, can bring you towards the path of zero day and these kind of attacks. But yes, they can also give you an idea that where actually the vulnerabilities are lying into. So let's get started and let's jump on how you can start API pen testing without any prior knowledge, whether you have a knowledge of Docker or whether you have a knowledge of Postman or not. But after watching this video, I can ensure you that you can start your journey with API pen testing. So first of all, we'll start this video with few of the prerequisites. Now before getting started with this, you need few tools that needs to be there inside your system. Now the number one tool that you need is Docker for desktop. Now you can easily get this tool for free. I'll just make you go through it. When you'll just go on Google and when you'll hit Docker and when, you, when you'll go onto the official website of Docker, you're going to find this link that says Docker desktop. Just click on this link and download this Docker desktop. Next, next, next setup and you're all done to go with Docker. Don't worry if you don't know Docker, that's really okay. But I'm going to give you the complete steps on how to proceed with automation API security testing. So this pint, you know, I'll just make you walk through the pint here. So you can see that this is the official website of pint.io. Now that's where the magic actually happens. What happens is that understand that you usually deploy and test a lot of APIs with the help of Postman. Now what is happening is that directly the functions are not going to the target applications. In between the way, exactly like Burp Suit, we are uh, you know getting the functions and making them pass through this pint. And with the help of this, it is, you know, checking a lot of security tests. And of course, like I told you, it has all the OWASP top 10 API security vulnerabilities. That means things are getting done very quickly and it is saving a lot of your time, right? All right, so we will jump back to Pint, but before that, you need the second prerequisite. Now, I'll tell you one more thing that how the Pint is running. So basically, uh, you know, Pint is giving you a Docker container that you can import into the Docker for desktop, like this thing out there. Once you install this, you can in fact run these commands that are given by Pint as well that we'll be exploring in some time from now into the documentation of Pint. But before this, before we proceed further, you need the second prerequisite as well. And that is called as Postman because, you know, you do a lot of things inside Postman, right? So you need to do nothing. You just need to Google Postman where you can play around with APIs and you just need to download Postman. Once you click on download, you will get the Postman client for your desktop and make sure you sign in into the Postman because yes, that is also required. Uh, I'll tell you when, but for now, just go ahead and install the Postman app and the Docker for desktop. Once you are done completing with the simple next, next, next installation, and that's where the real part begins. So let's get started with that. So as I'm assuming that you already have Postman inside your system, you must have already installed it. If not, just pause this video, run away, 
download the file, next, 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 and bring your computer into this situation. So this is the first screen that you will be watching in front of you into the Postman. Now what I'll do is that I'll be creating my own workspace where actually I can do the paint testing. So I'm just gonna go with uh, a new workspace, right? And I can name this workspace as paint testing, right? And uh, this is a demo testing for paint, right? And I'm going to use it for the personal workspace. Click on create workspace. Now that's it. We are done creating your workspace. Now we are going to fork a lot of things from the paint. And yes, you you know, it might sound a little complicated, but it is not. Paint has helped us to, you know, uh, make things least complicated and thanks to their team because, you know, things are super easy right here. You go to the paint and then you just click on run in Postman. I'm just going to give you a quick heads up. What we have done so far is that we have installed Docker. We have successfully installed the Postman client for desktop and we have created a new work. Nothing extraordinary, nothing complicated. And after this, you need to click on this button that says run in Postman. It's free. Now you'll see the real magic happening here. When I click on this, now once you'll sign up, you'll reach on this screen. Now it says that it requires your Postman API key. That means they require the API key of your Postman so that they can uh, fork their workspace right there right so they are going to prepare almost everything for you but where can you find this your api postman key i'll tell you that don't worry once you sign up on to the postman this is how your account will look like right on the official website of postman web.postman.co right and when i just drop it down right here you'll see settings Inside the settings of your account, you will see something that says API keys. Once I click on API keys and you will see the option to generate API keys. Now I'm going to click on generate API keys. Now I'm going to name it something that I can recognize later on. Pent, uh, let's say test, right? And I'm going to generate API key. Now what will happen is that this API key now I'm going to redirect this API key to the website of pen.io and that, that's it. Like basically the pen will do the rest of the stuff for you. Now that's a real magic. So you integrate the API key, you click on submit and you will see that once it is done, uh, you will see the workspace coming up. Now you can see that I just now created Pint testing right in front of you and it's right here. Super easy, super fast. So I'm just going to click on pen testing. Now it is going to go for the goat collection for now. You can also import your own collection by configuring the variables, which is super easy out there. But right now I just want to show you some vulnerabilities uh, that are there into the test collection of goat, the web goat collection, actually, that is OWASP top 10 API vulnerabilities. So, you know, I'm just going to go on next. Once I click on next, I'll see the screen right in front of you. Now, you don't need to do anything. Uh, you just simply need to copy this. You need to copy this thing right here, or you may simply click on this. Uh, it will just copy it to your clipboard. Now, you can just open up your PowerShell, or you can just go ahead and go for your, uh, you know, you can run a sample container. The easiest way is that I'm just going to open up my PowerShell, right? I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's visible to you. So I'm going to copy this exact thing right here. Once you you need not to worry about anything at all. Once once you are done installing Docker and that's really OK, this command will automatically import your container that can be used for finding the API vulnerabilities. I'm going to click on enter with a command that is given by uh, Pint in order to import their Docker container, right? So images up to date seems like my container is imported and the server is up and running let's go ahead and check it so you can see inside your containers you have uh, the container from the pent right that means we are done pulling up the container right here okay so this part is done now the next uh, i'm just gonna click on finish because we are done setting it up i'm just gonna click on finish right and let's see what we have here into our postman so now you can see that inside our postman you have this pint that is fogged automatically which is really amazing that's why pint has requested us the api right so now it is going to do a quick testing on to the web goat so in order to start the testing you just need to click on 
run collection. When you click on run collection, it will do all the testing for you. Super easy, super magical. So I'm going to click on run pint. All right. So now the test is done. The run is finished and you can see that there are some vulnerabilities pointed out onto the web code. You can just go ahead and click on view result to see it in detail, right? And you can see that there were a lot of user data leakage, JWT hashed without secret, and a lot of vulnerabilities were shown to you. But I know we really require a lot of reports, especially when we are working on to the corporate level, we really need this. So they have done this thing very beautifully for us. Now, when we click on show report, and then you can click on send, and now it is going to send the request. Now, once I send it into the response, I'm getting a very good response because yes, this is where I'm going to be saved. If I'm doing the testing for a lot of my clients, yes, this is where it is going to help me out. So once you click on this visualize tab, you can see the whole report is right in front of me. Now, this is going to save a lot of my time in order to make the reports out there. Uh, I'm going to just drag it up a little bit so that you can see it clearly. Now, you can see that the report is right here. You know, all the errors passed, warnings, and you know, all the things that have passed. Just not that, I mean, they are just giving the exact parameter where they have found the vulnerability in your API and how to even fix it. They are just also giving a quick assessment here. So this is uh, an amazing tool out here, right? I mean, after the burp suit, this is one of the things that I'm looking forward for the API testing. And also you can just go ahead and visit the PINS uh, badge program. They are running a lot of badge program that that you can show off on your LinkedIn and can add in your resume if you want to apply somewhere as an API tester. So don't worry, I'm just going to uh, give you the link into the description about this pin program and all the resources that I've used in this video. I'm just going to drop them down into the description. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another amazing video and drop down into the comment section if you want more content related to security. But that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow.